Welcome back, welcome back. My name's Breezy, and we are continuing our run of Pokemon Black Iron Mon Nuzlocke. Uh, we're actually finally getting close to the point where, uh, you know, some real team decisions are going to be getting made. Some real team decisions. Yeah, I'm finding a lot of these rare items, the relic items or whatever they are. Kind of unfortunate because I don't think we could sell them until post-game, potentially. Pearl's nice. Um, but yeah, we currently have five Mons, right? Yes, we have five. We just caught Raven. And right after this, we get another encounter. So we'll have six. And then that's when you'll see the uh, the real ins and outs of this Iron Mon challenge coming into effect. So, especially with the random abilities, I'm really going to be taking some chances. Because, you know, you never know. You might catch something. You know, I have Unburden on Venonat right now. Uh, it'll change when he evolves into Venomoth. But he doesn't evolve for quite a while. So... You know, if I catch something else, you know, that I think might be about on par with it. And then, who knows, maybe Venomoth would have Flash Fire or Levitate or, I don't know, some cool ability that makes him pretty good. Huge power. He is adamant. That'd be nice. Huge power is like the chef's kiss of abilities during these playthroughs. Ugh. But, you know, it's just always, it's just always a chance. You know, sometimes in the past, I was doing random evolutions on one. And, you know, I took a chance on something that, you know, couldn't evolve and replace it with something that could evolve because I want to, you know, hopefully get a better Pokemon and it down, it backfired pretty bad. Some, multiple times, multiple times. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Can you guys get your spiel over with? I should do this before going uh, live with the recording, but it is what it is, it is what it is. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. All right, we have about like 15 Pokeballs, I think it is. Uh, so we should be fine. I cleaned up my room, guys. See that? It looks so much better, like the floor being empty. You can see the red glow off of it. I like it a lot. And then I still have ZZ's chair right here. Um, I kind of want to bring it a little closer to like right here. So when he's sitting here, you guys can see him like more often. And I'll be able to see him more too, which is always a plus. I think that's a better spot i put my rowing machine in here so i can start doing my workouts again uh it's looking good it's looking good things are looking up all right route three we got a little double battle to do here uh we do get an encounter right over uh after this battle uh, there's a little interaction i believe with team plasma i uh, have to chase him down into a cave so i do have two encounters coming up so i'm gonna have to make a decision real soon about who to keep on the team and who to who to swap out Let's Mega Drain the Bibberl. And we're going to bite the Munchlax because Munchlax has really, really good special defense, but not as good physical defense. Oh, you're going to growl me, are you? Oh, really? Uh, these two mons right here are probably never going to leave the team. Um, in, like, intentionally. You know, things could happen. Things could get crit. Things could have some crazy ability or, you know, bad luck, you know. It happens. It happens. But when it's in my control, these two will never leave. That's all I'm going to say. Amoongus and Entei, it's a super, super solid core. I literally don't think I'd replace it with anything. Maybe like a Venusaur instead of Amoongus because it's a little more offensive and still very bulky. But like, even then, chances are I'd be catching a Venusaur. Oh, this is a battle. Oh, I forgot about this. Oh. Yeah, we're fine. Um. But yeah, just the. Uh, Weavile. Oof. It'd be it'd be <coughs> a little iffy about. <coughs> uh with the ability issue. Uh, maybe switching it out. What's my ability on Amoongus? Actually, I don't remember. I don't remember. I know I just got Poison Touch. Oh, I didn't put the card art up. Or. Our, uh, what's his name? The poison dude. Um, oh my god, what's your name? Swallow. I don't know why. Sometimes I have to see it to, like, really remember. Alright, get Swallowed up here while this goes on. Woo! Did a lot of damage. Did a lot of damage. There we go. Uh oh. Orenberry? Ooh, I'm kind of low on HP, buddy. Screech? might have to switch I might have to switch okay taunt war off 
I would hope he would go for another taunt, but... Um... I didn't see what other move he was going for. It's going to Hank. He shouldn't go for an Ice-type move here. Ooh, he could have Pursuit. Pursuit would have been bad. Screech, Feint Attack, Taunt. I don't know. If he has an Ice move, he would go for it here. Um, if he does, so be it. I'm going to go for Feint Attack. Alright, we're good. Even a crit can't kill me. We're good, we're good. <clears throat> I really don't remember my ability. I know I have Motor Drive on Entei, which is insanely good. So it's an electric immunity. Not just to resist. Oh, well, neutral. You know, not just... It's a decent switch in for electric type, but... Dusk Noir. We do have Bite on Elmo. Let me see, let me see. Gluttony. Yeah, that's not a great... Not a great ability. Unburden, Poison Touch. Okay. Um... Dusk Noir. What does Dusk Noir have for an attack right now? He probably has, like, uh... I gotta go Elmo and bite. I just gotta try, you know, get in a flinch, maybe two shot it, deal with it that way. I just had a little mini panic attack. I thought I forgot to hit record, but we're good. We're good. We're recording. All right, let's get a bite off. Oh, big damage. No flinch. Goes for foresight. Awesome. 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 I do have potions. I gotta remember that. I can heal up in battle. Is not radical red. Slack off. You, oof, 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 baby. It's another thing you got to worry about. Slacking is terrifying in random abilities because he doesn't have truant, and he could have some other insane ability, which uh, makes him extremely scary. Uh, let's swap you out. That's one of the scariest mons in random abilities because he's. I think Slacking has one of the highest base stats out of any Pokemon. I'm actually going to look it up. Highest base stat Pokemon. I think it's probably like Arceus or something like that, like technically. But I'm pretty sure Slacking's like one of the top ones. Yeah, he has more base stats. Well, he has the same base stats as Groudon and Kyogre. And he has 10 less than all the other legendaries. Mewtwo, Lugia, ho -Oh, Rayquaza, Dialga, Palkia, Giratina. They all have 680. Slacking has 670. Kyogre and Groudon on a 670. Regigiga, 670. And then after that goes Dragonite, Mew. Dragonite? Damn, I didn't realize Dragonite was that good. Ooh, Chimeco. Did not want to stay in. That was an accident. That was an accident. But yeah. So when that thing comes in, it's the equivalent of a Kyogre or a Groudon. Honestly. And he usually gets a pretty decent moveset in this gen. Something like, you know, uh, like Chip Away, which is a pretty strong normal type attack. Stab, you know, base whatever attack he has. What is his attack? Uh, 160. Base 150 HP. Base 1... Uh, 150 HP, 160 attack, 100 defense, 95 special attack, 65 special defense, and 100 speed. Absolutely absurd stats. Absolutely absurd. I mean, his special defense is his worst thing, which is 65, but he has 150 HP, which is insane. Actually insane. Okay. You go off, you go chase him down, and I will get my encounter right in this little patch of grass. And that will fill up our team to our sixth mon. And uh, then it comes to decisions. Let's see what we get. Satu. That is... Man. This is just like a solid core we got going on here. Uh, I'm going to go for a Mega Drain because you're special to... boy could have gotten for bravo no no that would have been even better all right let's run over here real quick let's get our encounter in the cave toxic absolutely toxic i didn't even think about teleport 
Torkoal! Eh, not... Torkoal's great. Torkoal's a very good defensive mon, just obviously not very necessary because of the current team build that we have. That's all. That is all. But I will go for it. I'm going to obviously catch it, add it to the squad. See, right now, if I had caught uh, Zatu, I would probably catch this. Actually, I probably wouldn't even... <sighs> I probably would catch Torkoal. I'd probably catch the Torkoal and replace the Zangoose because um, hit, uh, Torkoal's physical defense is insane. I mean, Entei is really bulky as well, but you know, it's just an extra switch in on something. It's just, it's just always a good thing. It's always a good thing. Uh, let's go for a Nest Ball. I mean, Nest Balls are better for lower levels, so. About as low level as my encounters are gonna get. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, oh, where's my phone? Where's my phone? Oh, I'm going to name this Chonk. I think I saw someone say they wanted the nickname Chonk in the last video, right? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me lower our audio. Uh, oh, where was that comment? Where was it? Where was it? Chonk. It was Chonk. Okay. Chonk's a good name for a turtle. I am. All right. And then we look at Chonk. We look at your nature, which is naughty, which I forget what naughty is. I think it's plus attack minus spadef or something. Oh, wow. It actually shows it. Wow. I actually got that right. I legit wasn't even thinking about it. Doubles the Pokemon's weight. Not bad. That's actually not bad. I mean, it's not really going to be that useful, but I'm thinking, wait, does he get heavy slam? Is Heavy Slam in this generation? It might not be. If it is, it'll come in clutch. It'll be unfortunate for things like low kick. But that's about it. All right, I'm going to go heal up. And uh, then we'll go do that battle with Charon. And then we can still, we'll still get another encounter. And we'll figure it out from there. The way I deal with static encounters, um, say like a gift Pokemon or... Um, you know, a fossil revive. If I'm gonna, if it's something I have to claim at a certain time, which I don't know if there's any gift Pokemon that you get where you have to claim it at a certain time, but a static encounter. Eh, I'm trying to think. Is there a gift Pokemon you get in this gen? I know in uh, Black and White 2, you get gifted like a Deerling and the Zerua. You get a couple more gifted Pokemon in that game, I think. This one, I don't think you actually get so much, but say, you know, they gift me a Pokemon. Um, you know, I obviously will look at it and see what it is before I make any decisions. If, if say I'm a revive a fossil, I revive the fossil first. I basically just treat it as a new encounter. That's all. You know, I get the encounter, look at it, see if I want it, and then go from there. I don't have to make the decision prior to reviving the fossil of whether or not I want it. I don't the icy wind. <coughs> oh, sorry. Love this nasty cough. Mega Drench do a good amount. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Easy clap. Again, Hank leveled up. I should start leveling up someone else though. Should start leveling up. There are a lot of poison types. Ingrain? No. No, thank you. Not worth. Now we do a double battle, right? You gonna use your uh, Weavile blood? I sure hope so. I sure hope so. A Behem and a Sandile. Alright, please lead with your Weavile. Kill the Behem, I'll kill the Sandile. GG. Easy clap, baby. Easy clap. Sandile snow warning. Oh no. Whatever will I do? Nice. You're 100% dead. Yep. And you got the flinch. Of course you did. 
pain attacks. Gonna do a ton, even though it's resisted. <laughs> wow, I really put in a lot of work on that battle. Sheesh. You're welcome, Weavile. I don't know what you would have done without me. Oh, I do gotta remember to save the game more frequently. Um, I forgot this game has an issue once in a while with it freezing. Um, so I'm gonna try to save as often as I can. And that's a TM right there. I remember when I was doing the purgatory of this, which is I play it over and over again until I beat it. With sabotages from chat. So they can, you know, release my Pokemon on a whim. Um, I always thought for some reason you couldn't get to that item. Like from one of the last times I played it. So I'd always ignore it. And one time I just randomly checked. I was like, oh wait, I can get this. And it's a TM. And random TMs are extremely helpful early on. Because sometimes you get a really broken move that you, know, you might get like, you know, Thunderbolt or something. And I could teach it to, I don't know, swallow. I don't know. You know what I mean? Or like Earthquake TM. Sometimes you get something really good really early on. And uh, I was just leaving it on the floor for the whole playthrough. It took me like 10 attempts before I even realized I could grab it. I think it was something like that, honestly. It was a bunch of attempts I went by. Icicle Spear. Oh, see what I mean? See what I mean? That's an amazing move. Now, imagine I could put that on Entei. Oh, we'll be chilling, baby. We'll be chilling. Come on. Yes! Ooh, almost everyone can learn this. Oh, that's amazing. That is amazing. Let's give it a Leer. Oh, I'm putting Icicle Spear on multiple Pokemon. Multiple Pokemon. Everyone can learn it. I'm giving it to Chalk instead of instead of withdraw because you have curse. There's no reason I'm both. Oh, this is so good. So good. Mm -mm, so good. Mm -mm, I got it. Sorry. Sorry. I don't, know, I don't know what got into me. Don't know what got into me. All right. That's that's good enough. That's good enough. I don't need to teach it to uh, my Among Us. There's no reason to. Let me put the last card art up, by the way. Um. Torkoal. I don't know why I have it spelled as Torque with a bunch of K's in it. Torque. Mm, 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 mm. But there is our full team. We finally got it. Alright, let's get us out of here. Uh, there is an item over here. I just got a battle of trainer. <clears throat> but with the random items, it's definitely worth grabbing. Definitely worth never know when you might get leftovers, black sludge, a master ball. Just never know. Or a dragon gem. That happens too. That happens too. Yeah. I slouch too much. Uh, thanks so much. Okay. Okay. A little thank you present. Heal balls. Nice. Thank you. All right. Down we go. Battle this guy. Gotta grab that item over there. Got a couple of battles to do over here. Uh, the guy, Charon, shows you double battle grass for the first time. And, uh, yeah. Ooh, a guard chomp. See, this is where Icicle Spear comes in clutch. Not that I have it on the guy I'm leading with, but you catch my drift. Um, I could strain to... Hmm. If he has Dragon Rage, I want to go into Elmo. Sandstorm. All right. All right, let's go Spirit gets the kill. Guaranteed. Yep. Oh, it wasn't a guaranteed two shot. Wow. I thought for sure it would be. Doesn't matter. We're fine. We're fine. Let me lead with someone else, though. Let me lead with... Uh... Let's lead Venonat. I think Venonat doesn't evolve super late. Let me, I just want to double check. I know I've been looking up movesets and I mean, I'm looking up a lot of stuff about Pokemon. Oh, 31. Oof, it is actually quite a while. But, hey, gotta level it up. A Calcium. That raises. What's Calcium raise? Not attack, that's protein. Iron's defense. Calcium. Is it like physical? I mean, uh, special defense? Actually, I have no idea. HP? Who knows? The world may never know.
what I'm looking for forward to is a sap sipper like swamper or like a flash fire scissor oh yeah oh yeah that'd be so amazing just go by school spear strongest thing I can go for go for the rage oh boy okay Rage might not be, I mean, uh, Icicle Spear might not be the best play since he's going for Rage. Because he might get multiple boosts, but I think we'll be fine. Bro, I guess we're not going to be fine. Alright, I'm going to Ember. Thank you. Sheesh. Who didn't want to break through? Just don't click Rollout. And then get me paralyzed like three times. That'd be the worst. Ugh. Okay, we got that. Scoot on this way. There's an item over here I want to grab. I do get leech life very soon. Hmm, a whirlipede. Only level nine though. Ooh, speed boost. Oh, yeah, give me a speed boost on something crazy. That would be amazing. Imagine speed boost with, like, curse. Like, if Twerkle had speed boost. And I... Ooh, lady. But if he had speed boost, then I could keep, like, clicking curse and then being neutral speed. And then when I start, you know, attacking, I start getting faster and faster. Mm. That would be kind of broken. Just saying. Just saying. Uh, I'm a little nervous about this guy. I'm going to Hank. Because even if he goes first, I can move. I'll tank it, and then I can Giga Drain. Yeah. Eat that up like it's a breakfast. And then you go for a tackle. Interesting play there. Interesting choice of plays. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am. I know I'm skipping some trainers and stuff. Um, I usually like to save those for grinding. So say I, you know, in between recordings, I want to get some of my guys leveled up. I'll go do the trainer battles that I've skipped and go from there. Um, what I want to do before wrapping up this episode is I want to go get my next encounter so I can make a decision on my team because I do have three poison types. If I was to replace one, it'd probably be Venonat before Squallop, because pure poison is not bad. Bug poison doesn't really benefit a ton. So I'd, I'd like to potentially replace Venonat, even though I'm just talking about leveling it up, and I'm like, I should start leveling it up more. I'm like, also, I should stop using it completely. Oh, come on. Random TMs, man. Can make a break a run. All right. It's a new encounter. It's the forest encounter as well, so it comes for both. Whale Lord. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby, yeah. As I send out Austin. <laughs> Austin, you're about to get replaced. Let's go for confusion. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm trying to think of like, what the most broken ability on this would be. Yo, that did no damage. What? What? Mm -hmm. Sort of growl. It's fine. I'm not gonna go for a mega drain. That'd be insane for me to do. <coughs> Just gonna throw pokeballs. Awesome. Let's go. Let's go. What am I gonna name this? We're gonna go. We're gonna go with the Logie Bear, with Paul. It was. It's his son's birthday when he posted the comment. I'm gonna go with the full Logie. I usually just do Logie. It's not the first time we've used this nickname. Paul's been around for a minute, but we are gonna use that nickname right there. Let's grab this item. If I'm not gonna, if I'm stop being stupid and I can actually get around that little corner. Uh, but yes, we are going to replace Venonat for Whale Lord. And that means I cannot use Venonat for the rest of the playthrough. It's dead. 
Might as well be. Um, and I make that decision prior to seeing its uh, nature and stuff. I'm going to make that decision. You have to make the decision when you encounter it. So that's why when I was saying with like fossils and stuff, I have to like see it in the PC first. Well, I guess technically not really. I just have to see the name of it and stuff. But as overcoat is an ability, which isn't terrible. It's immune to like weather. And I think that if, I think overcoat means weather doesn't affect it. And I think powder moves. If I remember correctly. All right. Um. <clears throat> <laughs> Let's take the orange berry off of you and you go into the box forever. Um, I will save the game. I'm going to heal up, but I'm going to save the game. Update the card art. We now have a whale lord. And that is our team. And I'm going to wrap it up here and we will continue and do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we will do the next gym in the next episode. I think the next thing we do is just go straight into the gym. So I will see you guys then. Thank you for coming on through. Drop a like, comment, subscribe, all those things, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.